I'm Ayman, and welcome back to one of my videos in my home security and video surveillance systems videos. In today's video, I want to give you an update on how our surveillance system is working as of January 2024. So we've made a few changes from the last time we've done an update on this. As you can see, we have a new monitor, which I'll talk about in a bit. We have 16 cameras on one screen, which means that we, and this is actually running on a 32 channel NVR right here. This is a new NVR. We haven't done a video on it, but we still have our old high CU NVR, the original one that we worked on. And I can use this switch to switch to that NVR. And there are some, there are some cameras that we would like to rework with the old NVR, but instead we've turned our attention back to this new NVR simply because as you can see, it's higher resolution and it also supports more cameras. We also have this old NVR here, which I've done a video on, and we're probably going to put this in the patio outside so that while Azami and Anissa are working, they can look at the NVR and see the cameras from the outside. In the moment, we'll also go downstairs and we'll see um, the other NVR that we set up to see the cameras from downstairs. Going back to the monitor, Previously, we had about a 19-inch monitor. It was kind of small and hard to see a few details uh, of the cameras on the screen. So we decided to upgrade it to this 27-inch 4K monitor. Previously, it was 1920 by 1080. And as you can see here, the resolution and the clarity is just miles ahead of what we had before. Not only because we had an old v NVR, but also because, as you can see, it's so much more modern. And we'll see what the old monitor looked like downstairs in a bit, just so you can get a sense of how different in scale it was. But this is definitely a huge upgrade. And you can see, like I point something out, you can see like the lights going on the tree, which we're going to do a separate video on if you're curious why we've done that. Uh, on the old camera, on the old uh, screen, that might've been just like a blur of pixels. But here it's so much more sharper. So we're down in my dad's office. This is where he does all his tinkering and working with the gadgets. So here's the old monitor. Uh, as you can see, you can still get a pretty great image on it. Actually, my example from before is still pretty good. But I think what's more pressing is like if you want to recognize someone at the front door, you might not be able to recognize their face um, very clearly. Whereas on the other monitor, since it's bigger, then you'd be able to see. And so you could, hopefully this gives you a sense of like how big, how much difference in size that monitor was and how much of an upgrade it was. If you're curious, the monitor upstairs costed about $150 on Black Friday, but you can get it for about $200 now. And we'll provide the link to it in the description down below. We've gotten a new NVR to use for the security system downstairs. And it is Ahua branded. Here's the box for it. It's a pretty modern device. As you can see, it's able to have facial recognition, even vehicle recognition. Um, oh, face recognition here. Uh, is able to use AI search to search through videos and images, and there's also motion detection. And so this is, I think, 2022. Not to be fooled, this box here is for the other NVR upstairs. But as you can see, it's a very generic casing. But it's, it's really interesting seeing the leaps and bounds that camera technology has made since we've made that first video on the high CU system you know, back like three years ago. Okay, so we're back upstairs now. This is this box I showed earlier is the box for this NVR here, which is TVPS2, which I guess it makes sense why this has a generic box now. It's probably just one of many. Uh, but going back to this old NVR we were talking about, sorry, not old, the newer NVR that we bought and installed downstairs I mentioned before it has the ability to detect the has facial recognition and vehicle recognition and we want to get one of those cameras that has license plate recognition uh for some reason my dad wants to be a, a spy and, and like <laughs> and look at people's license plates but those cameras are nowadays really expensive i think they're 600 dollars nowadays so if we end up doing a video on that then uh stay tuned for that because that'll be a cool video we'll be able to test how that works Okay, so this thing keeps falling. This is my school, by the way. Not an alumni yet, but we'll see in a few years. I'm just going to throw that away. So 
about the facial recognition and the uh, license plate recognition, we, re we really want to test that out. Um, and my dad is thinking particularly, he wants to try it on this camera, approaching from the side of our house. And also this camera right here, facing on the other edge of our house. Um, because these cameras are in a really good angle to see oncoming cars. And usually a lot of stuff happens at this intersection. Um, so it would be a good angle to catch some cars. Uh, and sometimes cars crash into this tree over here. So it'd be very helpful for us to be able to recognize the license plate so we could send that info to the police. But that being said, this video serves as an introduction to a sort of mini series that I'm gonna be doing for the, for, well, there's, there's a lot of things I'm gonna be talking about, uh, like motion detectors and cameras and things like that. Um, and it depends on how much time I have because I am leaving to go back to Harvard in a, in a few days. So when I get back for spring break or for summer break, then I'll be continuing to do more videos on this. But for now, I just want to give you guys an update on the surveillance system, simply because we've done a lot of changes to it. So I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at other videos on I and Ayman, especially the video surveillance videos. And also check out my other videos. Um, and I think one of the videos that we want to do is work on this tree outside. If you're interested in setting a, a camera up on a tree branch, then go check out that video. But for now, I'm Ayman, and signing out. Peace.